These are the new iFootage Beaver bags designed for filmmakers and photographers. They're made out of this nice water resistant material and there's four in the range. There's a 35 litre backpack option, a larger 50 litre option, which has room for your camera equipment, but also a separate space up top for clothes and personal items. There's a trolley option on wheels that also cleverly doubles up as a shoulder bag. And then lastly, there's a sling pouch for smaller items and accessories. So first up is the new Beaver trolley bag, which I find the most interesting out of this bunch. That's because it has a clever multifunctional design. So you could use it as a regular handheld bag from the top or from the middle using these retractable straps that tuck into the sides. They have a magnet on either strap, so when fully extended, the handles will stay together and not flop about, which is nice. There's also the option to use it as a shoulder bag by attaching a strap onto these clasps either side. And then of course you can use it as a trolley and wheel it along too, which makes it a nice, versatile, sensible option for transporting kit. The wheels feel quite smooth and durable, whilst also being quiet to use. On the side of the bag, there are two zipper compartments for kit. The first has five pockets for small items on the side and a detachable keyring. The other side has two laminated pouches. And then the second zipper has one deep pouch for storage. And if you open up the main central compartment, we're greeted by this foldable lid that sits on top of the dividers underneath. These dividers are configurable, of course, depending on how you like your kit organized. So next, if we take a look at the 35 litre backpack. Now, this is the one I see as the standard everyday model that owners can use as a general purpose backpack for transporting their kit. The main compartment opens from the front of the bag via these water resistant zips. Here you've got these really sturdy dividers that you can rearrange and it also has three laminated pockets inside. Two on the underneath of the flap and then a third one on the bottom that you can easily get to from this quick access flap on the side. Also on the sides, there are some straps for attaching things onto and two handles that you can use to lift the bag from either side or attach it onto a suitcase or hard case when on the go. On the other side, there's a class for a monopod or a tripod too, which is nice to have. If we flip it over to the back, it has some supportive shoulder blade and lower back pads with straps that feel sturdy. It also has a zip on the back that opens a compartment that easily fits a 16 inch laptop and tablet. There's another zipper compartment for some smaller items on the top. If we flip it over to the front of the bag, it has two zippers and a magnetic locking mechanism that houses another compartment with some more space for longer items. And then finally, underneath the bag, there's a zipper that has a waterproof cover that you can wrap over the entire bag if it gets really wet and rainy. Next, we have the 50 litre backpack that I look at as a great multi-purpose option for carrying camera gear, but also personal items like clothes and other things, maybe on a hiking or camping trip somewhere. That's because in addition to the Velcro section inside with the dividers, on the top of the bag, there's a big separate compartment with a large laminated pocket. Similarly to the 35 litre, this 50 litre version has a front compartment that opens with zips on either side. But what's different about this one is that it uses a quick release buckle that pulls open. If we turn the bag onto one side, we can see that it has a pouch and a strap for attaching tripods like its smaller brother, as well as a quick release flap on the other side with a zipper compartment for some smaller items. If we flip the bag on its back, you'll notice that it has these two waist pouches on the bottom. However, unlike the 35 litre option that opens from the front, this bigger 50 litre option opens from the back to reveal the interchangeable section for the bulk of your camera equipment. And one thing I really like about this is that you can completely remove this section with the Velcro dividers to load in and organize your equipment totally separate from the bag, which is quite unique. But it also makes it really quick to change this bag from being a camera backpack to a multi-purpose bag that you could use for anything which I think is a really nice feature. And just like the smaller 35 litre option, there's a flap here that easily fits a 16 inch laptop in this section and a tablet or notepad in this section. And it has the same waterproof cover in a zipper compartment underneath. Lastly, there's this, the Beaver sling pouch, which has the same water resistant protection as everything else in the line. 
It has so many little storage pockets for small lights, batteries, and media accessories. As well as a handle, it has two latches that you can clip a strap onto to use as a sling. So all in all, there's definitely a lot to like about the new iFootage Beaver line of bags, whether it's their protective water resistant design or even how multi-purpose and versatile they are. I think they make quite a sensible option that are well worth considering. And if you'd like to buy any of them for yourself, you can head over to proav.co.uk. But do let us know what you think of them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.